subtracting integers. Picture this. An evil villain shows up to wreak havoc over an unexpected city. The villain now has power of the city. Who's gonna stop him? That's right, the superhero. When the superhero arrives, the battle for power of the city begins. So the villain calls for backup. When more villains arrive, they have the power. But more superheroes come to help and the heroes gain the power. Villains are not done yet. They call for even more backup. And now the villains are taking the power. That's because whenever you add to the situation, that's who gets the power. But what happens if you subtract? So I'm gonna to begin to subtract these villains. We're gonna take them away. What is happening to the power? It's shifting back to the heroes. We can do the same thing on the other side. If we have heroes that are in power and we begin to take them away, the power shifts back to the villains. That's because addition adds the power, but subtraction takes it away. Subtraction has the opposite effect. If I add heroes, heroes get power. But if I take away heroes, the villains get power. The opposite effect happens. So we're gonna look at happy and unhappy people. We're gonna compare them with positive and negative numbers. And we're gonna replace the word subtraction or minus with the opposite of in each situation. So we're gonna start off with this problem. Six minus three, where six is positive and three is positive. All these little girls are happy, but we're gonna replace subtraction or minus with the words opposite of. We're gonna rewrite this as six and the opposite of positive three. What is the opposite of positive three? It is negative three. So our three positive girls become negative or unhappy. This gives us a new problem of six and negative three. When I have six positive and three negative, I can eliminate each pair, positive and negative pair, leaving us with just three happy girls, meaning my answer is positive three. The next problem, negative six minus positive three. Again, let's replace the word minus with opposite of negative six and the opposite of positive three. What's the opposite of positive three? Well, it's negative three. So my happy, not so happy. And our problem can be rewritten as negative six plus negative three. When I have all negative, I just total them up and I end up with negative nine or nine unhappy. How about negative six minus negative three? Again, let's replace negative six and the opposite of negative three. What's the opposite of negative three? Well, it's positive three. So my negative three people become positive three people, giving us a new problem or rewriting the problem as negative six plus positive three. Remember for each unhappy and happy pair, we can eliminate them leaving us with three unhappy girls, an answer of negative three. So let's try this, six minus negative three. Let's rewrite it. Six and the opposite of negative three. What is the opposite of negative three? It's positive three. Six plus three equals nine. That's the end. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe.